Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go, and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well, and some of it is absolute sheer craziness, but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Hey guys, I want to start sealing up the uh, the windows that I made to get the foam out of the uh, the keels, the keel, the port side keel. So when I was doing my uh, sort of look at the camera, turn the music off. When I was doing the furniture here and I was blocking out with a little glue gun, little blocks of wood, and then I done all my epoxy and then glass and all that stuff. And then after that, I had to knock them blocks of wood off with um, basically a screwdriver and a hammer just to, to knock them free. Obviously awesome. That was my wife's ex-wife, separated wife, I don't know what you call it, but my old wife, <laughs> that was her glue gun. It was like an arts and crafts one that she used for doing bits and bobs and the buddy girls. Um, so I had to give that back. So I went and bought a heavy duty, industrial, proper major purpose glue gun kit. Um, shouldn't really say where it's from, but it's from, from Wix. Um, and it's rubbish. So I've tried to do glue in before and I couldn't even actually stick something to something else and it just fell off. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I've got an extension lead outside. I'm gonna get this set up underneath and I'm just gonna leave it for ages as long as I can possibly leave it and just let it, let it get hotter, 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 hotter and see if the, this bloody glue in there becomes effective and actually glue something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my lolly sticks, my stirring sticks, get some of them snapped up, stick them inside the keel so I, when I push the, the plate up against it, it's like, it's like a backstop. Um, so yeah, without chatting anymore, I'm going to go and do that now and I shall see you out there. John. Hey guys, right, glue gun's hot. So I've got snapped off a bit of lolly stick. I've cleaned up inside here. So there's no, it's not wet, it's not dusty. It's been cleaned up with uh, acetone. So I'm gonna get it nice and close. Hot glue, on. And hold it. One, four, three, two, one. <laughs> this stuff is. Well, probably can't say the word I want to say on YouTube. Okay, so that one almost stuck, but it let itself down. So, what I'm going to do. <sighs> One last spin. Gonna try it. It's the worst thing can happen. If it falls through, I'll never go back to a drawing board. Definitely hasn't got the same grab that um, Sam's glue gun had. And that was a little cheapy hobby craft type affair, as opposed to this allegedly industrial one. Yeah. 
because that's it I'm not actually pushing I'm not really pushing on it something like that and the ultimate test now is I'm going to get a angle grinder and just grind about 25mm all the way around just down a little bit and I've got this mat here that I bought from CFS ages ago for a different job for doing some tabbing I'm just going to use this so if I've got 25mm on here 25mm on the inside piece I'll do some thickened epoxy in the join and then put this over the top make it away about a thickened epoxy because I'll cut it with a 1mm blade it's actually not that much of a gap but no, I will do. I will. I'll do it properly. I need thick and epoxy to fill these holes in, in any way. So tune in the moment. Get my uh, my mask on. Get that ping, that thing pulled out, and uh, get me on grinder good to go. Okay. Ultimate test for this glue. See if I can grind it without them just falling off. So what else I'll do? I'll plug the angle grinder in. That normally helps. actually going to do is do this stage now to the other three holes or sorry four holes one on the other side um, and then for the magic of YouTube you'll only I'll only tune in just while I'm working on this one just to save a bit of time because it'll be exactly the same process on all one two three four five holes um, yeah so I'll tune in when I'm on my, my next bit see you in a minute okay they're all ground down got their lollipop sticks in and Acetoned up. Them four look alright. That one, I haven't touched it. I don't know if you can see it, it's zoomed in enough, but one has just fell off under its own steam. So, because that side has got some sort of coating inside, some sort of bitumen type thing, I'm quite undoubtful of if that's going to work or not. Data problem. Let's concentrate on this one for now. So, I've just mixed up some nice, thick, fluffy, thick and epoxy. Down a little bit. Just 
a little bit too thick or not, but spread that in the uh, Worst that can happen, it falls through and I'll start again. Really careful how much I push it. I think this one's fell off already because it's pushed through. New plan. If they set back a little bit, let me see if I can get some epoxy on there without it falling off. Highly unlikely. Okay, I don't want to go on filming for about an hour while I'm doing this, so that's how I'm going to finish that one there. Um, I think the glassing, etc., will be a follow on. Um, as long as I'm getting in, getting epoxied in, I think that'll do for now. So I'll do the rest of them and I'll tune in when I'm done. Anything interesting, I'll tune in before. Job. Hey guys, it's turned a bit of quake my under here. I don't know how because it doesn't mean under here. But, um, so that one's in, a little bit stepped at the top, but you know, I don't mind putting a, building up and patching or smoothing it in or whatever it requires. There's a few bits right here that are gonna need building up. Um, oh, this one, this one's where I cut out into four pieces. I did a little window and a bigger window. So that aperture is still there, which will get glassed over. In hindsight, I should have put a backing on it even if it's a bit of tape or something, but hindsight's a beautiful thing. But as long as that the epoxy sets it in place, I can then work from there on getting something nice and solid in there. You know, I can put a little strip in that a little bit and then let that go off and then do the larger, larger area repair. This one is in. The top does keep widening out a little bit. So I think I'm just going to have to literally give it a little while for the epoxy to go off. I'll start sort of gelling off and then just push it in, let the epoxy hold it in place, just so it doesn't end up falling out. This one uh, is in. Again, doesn't want to be in, keeps trying to fall out. What I may do is... Um, get some little props, some little bits of wood, just lean on there, nothing too heavy that's going to push it through, but something just to hold it in place. I'll go do that in a moment. And this is the one that had nothing stuck or stuck on the back of it, and surprisingly, it's one of the better ones. And this one's actually sat a little bit proud, which I'm more than happy with that, because I can grind it down, sort of shape it, ready for the, for the larger area repair. And then all the little drain holes are filled in nice and heavily with thick and epoxy. Again, they were gonna get glassed over anyway. But all I'm gonna do now is get a couple of scraps of wood from the boat, just prop them up against number three and four there, just to stop them sort of tipping out while I'm distracted doing other things. But yeah, that's about it guys. I'll speak to you in a bit. Beautiful. The made to measure scraps of wood wedged in there just to help it kick in the right position ready for the uh, future repairs now I'm down there, a bit of artificial light you can see some of the size of these bits that should should I think really be fared over or at least built up with glass or something before I do the big glassing so I think I'll do some small area repairs before I do the 
or in conjunction with the larger area repairs so i might do a section at a time do the little repairs do the big wrap over the top next section little repairs wrap over the top and break it down like that again by the time i made this video i probably still haven't done it so any top tips um i know epoxy is best when you do thicken epoxy and then the tabbing over the top to get that sort of chemical reaction but today wasn't meant to be for that uh, but in the future i think like i said any sort of filling whether it be with, with glass csm whatever it may be the larger area i think i'll put over the top if you think i'm doing that wrong or got any other better ideas what i should be doing it'd be hugely appreciated but for now i'm going to go and tidy the boat up and get ready for new year's eve tomorrow cheers guys speak to you in a bit afternoon guys right i've got an hour or so before i've got to disappear on my course for the week um it's dry ish looks like it's gonna rain any minute it's about 12 degrees next weekend the forecast is saying it's going to be dropping into single figures so i need to maximize what i can i'm going to use polyester and combination matting on the kills i've just measured out the combination mat quickly so i've done it doing it in a real rush um and all i'm going to do is this kill for now i've only got five kilos of polyester resin so there may not even be enough to do the whole kill but i've got stuff measured out to uh to get it on there obviously combination matting is quite heavy takes a fair amount of resin but even if i just get the outside kill done that'll do for now so without further ado i'm gonna go do some mix ups and resin i'll put my gopro on a time lapse and then we'll see if and how it works i'm a little bit dubious about it adhering nicely um not start peeling off and me turn to a big ball of mush and me losing my bag but hopefully it'll go on nicely we'll see you in a minute
Anyway guys, I was going to try and get some footage of what it looks like when it's done but it's pitch black out there and torch light and GoPros, it just doesn't work. So I'm off my gas course now, uh, I'm back on Friday night, I've got the girls but in and around somewhere in there I'll get some footage of what's done. Uh, if I've got the conditions for it I'll probably do the other side if I can keep the girls entertained and I can get that done for a couple of hours but we shall see. But cheers guys. Hey guys, so I'm now on my gas course, um, living up in a Premier Inn down in Chatham, Chatham Marina. If you haven't been down there, it's absolutely amazing. There's so many boats. I'm looking forward to exploring it quite thoroughly. Uh, if you are watching this and you're in Chatham and it's within the next few weeks, then uh, drop us a message down below. Um, I'd love to, love to come and catch up. Um, yeah, so the kills are an absolute job. That one that I done, well a couple of weeks ago but a few seconds ago on here um that one's now glassed up i still need to reseal it um on a uct one to go around the kills where it joins the the bilges um just do what i can to seal it up and get it as good as i can uh probably a bit, a bit of epoxy fair in it any low bits i've not had a chance to have a look at it this weekend coming um it's looking like single figures but high single figures so if I get a moment where it's not blowing a gale, it's not raining and it's above five, six degrees, I'll just go mental with activator and just get that done. I just want to get it put to bed um, just so I can do the fettling rather than the big horrendous jobs like massive glassing. Um, yeah, so I, obviously I used combination matting and polyester instead of epoxy. Um, I know epoxy is the go-to and it's amazing and it's strong and blah 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 and the cost really doesn't bother me it's purely the the weather aspect where I had to go polyester if anyone can see a massive problem with using polyester and you know if I should put epoxy over the top or something like that then uh, then let me know we massively appreciate it Don't, any advice is appreciated I'll never take it as a negative um, big thank you to my patron Blue Dog Oz. Um, I say always with more patrons, and thank you for the guys who bought me a coffee. Uh, buy me a coffee link, and my Amazon wish list and stuff is down below. Um, and like I say, I'm always open for advice and people's thoughts. I'll be completely honest with you while I'm filming this. I can't remember who said it now, top of my head, but someone said about pressure testing the kills. You know temporarily putting a valve in there air compressor to see if any air pushes out from anywhere around that kill which i think is a freaking amazing idea so when it's all done i'll drill a hole insert that valve um little schrader valve or whatever it is pump some air into it and then i can just go around with sort of leak detection spray um basically bubbly water look for anything coming out um if everything below the water line is airtight then it's going to be watertight, which is freaking awesome. So, again, I'm really sorry. I can't remember who it was exactly, but thank you very much. You're an absolute star. If I remember, I'll put it in the description down below. Um, yeah, so hopefully this weekend I'll get the glass on. If not, I'll do it at some point on one of my weekends off. And then I can start looking at building up the epoxy primers. <sighs> Everything below the waterline is going to need fairing to get the sort of low spots out and then just four or five layers of epoxy primer which is expensive but if it's going to seal it and keep it watertight for, for years to come you know it's a necessary expenditure uh, then getting the tie coat and anti foul on and that's a big stress off really um, then i need to start looking at building rebuilding all the rudder system getting that all back together the outdrive the sonic leg still needs doing um, but otherwise, I think I'm winning. We'll see. I've got about what we in now. I've got about eight weeks to get it ready. So, and I'm working for the next four weeks on my course, and then I'll be doing a job placement when I get in. So, we'll see. I like a challenge, and uh, this is definitely a challenge. But cheers, guys. I'll speak to you later.